Hi, Stephanie Mullen, back with you to show you how to use Rampant's Flash Transitions X plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. In this FCPX plugin tutorial, I'm going to show you the following features found in the Flash Transitions X plugin. How to add flash transitions to your edit, how to change the blend mode, how to flip the transition vertically or horizontally, how to change the hue, and then how to change the tint color. Now before we start, if you are not aware on how to install this plugin or any other rampant FCPX plugin, check out the description below where you will find a link to the plugin installation tutorial. All right, we have everything installed already, so let's get started. Now the first feature is how do we add these flash transitions to our video footage? Well, it's very simple. As you can see here, I already have some video in my timeline, a quick little edit, and I want to put the flash transitions right between all my edit points. So to do that, I'm going to go over here into my transition browser, click on it, and then I'm going to scroll down until I find RDT flash transitions. If I click on that, here you will see all of the flash transitions that come in your pack, and there are 40 of them, which are great. And if you want to preview these, you can either uh, select it to so make a yellow box and then press spacebar, or you can scrub through with just your mouse. I like scrubbing through with my mouse. It's a lot faster so I can get to see the behavior. That's easy. All right, so let's take this tr tr transition right here, number six, and we're going to place it right over here onto our clips. You put it right between them, and there you have your transition. So let me if I rewind this, play it. There we go. All done. Perfect. Now, but what if we want to want to manipulate this a little, a little bit? So what we're going to do is we're going to head on over here to the inspector. And here you will find all of the properties that you can uh, sort of manipulate with your transitions. So if we go over and I move the cursor here, the very first thing you can do is work on with the blend mode. And that's actually feature number two. How do we change the blend mode? Well, it's really simple. It comes default as an out as add, but if you want to change this to screen, you can. Each has their own different effect depending on what you're looking for. So I like the add, so I'm going to keep it there. And if I roll that through with the add transition, the add blend mode, there you go. And then if you want to see what it looks like with the screen, there you go. So it's little, little subtle differences. All right. And like I said, I like the ads. So I want to change that back. And this takes us into feature number two, which is flipping the transition horizontally and vertically. Now this transition that I picked right here comes in from both sides. So you're not going to be able to really see the horizontal or vertical flip. So let's go ahead and choose another one. Let's just go with number seven, drag that to our clip, put it there. If you look at it now, this is what it looks like. So if I rewind that and I show it right here, I want you to notice here, here's where the light source is coming from at the beginning. So it starts at the, at the top left corner. If we flip that, it's going to now come from the top right corner. And then if we do vertically, it's going to be in the bottom right corner. And then if I take off the flip horizontal, it's going to be back on the left hand side. So if I play this through, it looks nice. It's an easy way to flip it horizontal or vertically, depending on where you want that light source coming from. All right, that takes us into feature number four, and we're going to be talking about changing the color. We're going to start with talking about changing the hue, and this is going to be a subtle color change for your transition. So if we were to go back here to our first one that we did, this pink one, and I'm going to come right about here. And if I click on, we'll go up here to my change hue color, and I click this on, you're going to see the color are automatically changed. And then we can go to our hue wheel here, and we can change this. So maybe we want it to be a blue color, and then we can work on the saturations. So maybe we want to turn that up a little bit. And then if I rewind that, now we've taken our, taken our pink transition to a blue. There you go. All right, so very simple, very easy. That's the hue. And that takes us to feature number five, which is changing the tint. So if I take off the hue and then come over here, highlight this so it's right here on this, and I turn the tint on, it's going to change it to whatever color is showing here. So right now it's yellow. So if I take that and I make this a, maybe I want it to be a red color. And then if I rewind that, now my pink transition is now red. And I can also work with the intensity so I can turn that down a little bit if I want and make it not so intense, the tint. There you go. And we can do the same thing with this one. Let's turn the tint on and then let's change it to maybe we want it to be, it was green, maybe we want it to be pink now. So there we've got two pink. This one was red. Now this one's changed to pink. Okay, so there's our transitions. And that's it. That's everything. All of that into one FCPX plugin. I think it's so great and so easy to put these transitions onto your edit and then change them, change the color, the blend mode, flipping them, all that stuff. So fantastic. If you're interested in any more plugins, tutorials, and training, head on over to rampantdesigntools.com. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Again, I'm Stephanie Mullen with Rampant Design. Thanks for watching. Bye!